And that is most definitely not a newborn. It's got way too much fucking hair. On the baby, have I understood it correctly that that's Michael's DNA? That the why incest? I I don't have a problem with that being in a movie. I don't. It's, it's disgusting, and I'm not. Um, but. I'm not one of those types that think that uh, negative things are best left undealt with, undiscussed, because that just makes them happen all the more, and makes it harder to deal with for the people it happens to. But are you really so fucking creatively bankrupt that you just had to... So Michael Myers has a kid with his niece. Ew. Why, anyway? I, I get that he's like the most successful thorn killing machine or whatever, but they try to do it with Danny too, and it seems to almost work. He almost stabs his father. No, wait. Whatever. Male, elderly, relative, I'm pretty sure. But who wouldn't? I wanted to. If I had, you know, I wanted to pick up my joystick and see if I could somehow you know, have Danny stab him. Yeah, so, they were trying to convince Danny too. He wasn't related to, um, Myers or... So, what? What was the... Huh? They d so, they apparently no longer need to be related to the, uh, the Myers. Then what's the point? Why keep going with Michael Myers? He's clearly not exactly easy to control, as evidenced by the fact that he fucking slaughters everyone at the end of the movie. So why? And where's the voice coming from? Is there a person in the room? Is there a mic in the room? I get that the old grandma lady is also a member of the Thorn cult, but why? And the, and the scene that starts with, I feel like we've been drugged. We have. What? Show, don't tell. Seriously, that was... What the fuck was that? Did they forget to shoot the them getting drugged? It's just... Also, that thing with the um, Michael Myers thing standing there, you know, in front of the, the Myers place. Are we seriously supposed to believe that kids did that? That they propped that shit up? And... What kid would put that much effort into a little fucking prank? It makes no sense. I'm sorry. Shaving cream, you know, um, bombed mailboxes, bombed, uh, with fireworks. That I can buy. Not that fucking cardboard cutout thing that, no, that's just, that's ridiculous. Also, on the characters, that fucking annoying bitch who was trying to make this being the first Halloween celebration in years into some kind of anarchy, protest, down with the man, fight the power. That is complete and utter fucking bullshit. Okay, you know what? I get that teenagers get like really involved in um, cases that they're convinced that the adults no longer care about and shit, but just... Also, if you're gonna make a character like that, don't expect us to care about her. I didn't care when she died. I wasn't... Oh, also, that was a complete waste of a potentially good idea. The whole... I mean, it's like the, the rear window kind of thing with... I can see you! No, he's right behind you! But it happens way too fast, so it doesn't build up any suspense. It just... It would have been perfect. It was like, wait, I'm, I'm sorry, what, what are you saying? You know, I'm, I'm sorry, this phone isn't working anymore. Something, just... Drag it out! You can't scare people if there's no build-up. It's just, it's, it's obvious. I'm sorry. Examine any good horror. Build-up, climax. It just, that's how it works. Okay, that's how, it's the same with, with comedy. If there's no build-up, you can't just, just, you know, it always gets the bigger reaction, a bigger the reaction will always be proportionate to the amount of build-up. 
if there's very little buildup, it can't be as big a laugh or a scare. It just can't. So the, um, I think it's the same that the bitch was trying to make way too big a deal out of the, um, the Halloween celebration, um, who gets naked, but I'm very sorry if this offends anyone, but the woman has got no chest whatsoever. I'm, I'm sorry, was that just not a cast, did, if you're gonna have nudity in a slasher film, shouldn't it be just somewhat appealing? In fact, the, the window thing, I hate to give props to the shitty urban legend movie, but that actually had it better in the opening with the stuttering guy trying to warn you, there's a guy behind you, you know, on the, uh, the back seat with an axe. That worked way better. The mask itself is pretty good, I will say that. It may be one of the best. The music is just ridiculously over the top, really trying to oversell, um, you know, the danger and how ooh, scary it is. It is nice that they do include the, the original theme. Also, when, um, I don't remember, some female character in the fucking movie enters the room and, you know, pulls off the sheet. What the fuck was she expecting to find? Why does she freak out by, oh, it's two dead bodies? Yes! You, one of them has their head sticking up, and you just saw her get stabbed. Of course, there's gonna be corpses. It's... That was so lame. Ridiculous. Jamie is also now played by a terrible actress who... Utterly unconvincing. And that has got to be the world's most unconvincing twig snap ever committed to celluloid. Seriously. And she's been reduced to just being that foreboding voice. Okay, so this is where they explain how apparently the stars form the fucking thorn rune in the sky on those particular years. In other words, 1963, 1978, 1988, 1989, and 1995, the stars were in the exact same fucking alignment there. Are you shitting me? If you keep digging yourself deeper and deeper into a hole, and every shovelful that you, you know, hurl up on over the hole to the side smells rather atrociously, at what point do you realize that you're just deep digging yourself deeper and deeper into pure shit? Every single time they try to add something to th that doesn't contradict, sort of doesn't contradict what we've already established, it just gets worse and worse. At what point do you just say, fuck it, let's make up something new? Just seriously. This is what happens when you keep making movies about the same fucking slasher killer. Okay? That just... It can't end well. Make one, make it fucking good, make it count, and then never make another one. I mean, at what point do you just... abandon the shitty storyline that's been cobbled together over the years and just say, you know what, fuck it, leave the explanations to fanboys on the internet that are gonna come up with theories that somehow retcon the shit together so that it makes some semblance of sense. I think that's it for the sixth one, so... H2O. And I'm not gonna make some lame water pun. They've all, all already been made. Why would you name your movie that? That's just... stupid. Anyway... This one actually did, it, I mean, the, the, um, the homages, homages to the, the first and to the other slashes and to the Scream uh, movies are kind of good. And, it, you know, it, it gets some things right. There's the, again, the near POV shots and, um, 